Diana Denmark here. I hope you are ready for another clothes swap haul video. Grab a cup of coffee, uh, relax. I just had to have some coffee because I'm feel a wee bit jaded today after all the excitement of last night. I always love going to clothes swaps. Uh, if you don't know what a clothes swap is, I've got a whole video series. Uh, I'll put the link up there on how to declutter your wardrobe. Um, but the, the idea behind these clothes swap parties that we uh, that I host and that I go to is that we take stuff from home that we are not using. And, it, and it's not just um, clothes, it can be uh, accessories, uh, makeup uh, that you, you, you know, you perhaps bought something, uh, nail varnish and it doesn't, you know, it's not your colour, it just doesn't suit you. We can take all those things along. We meet up, generally speaking, about every second month. Uh, it's a small group of ladies that I know and we, we uh, get together and we do, we, we make it really good fun. We all take something to eat or drink uh, and somebody hosts it and it's just a, a really good chance to pick up some other item that perhaps you've been looking for, haven't been able to find in the stores, which is a really, this is a great thing, especially if you're doing uh, like dressing your truth. Uh, you know, I'm a type one and the stores at the moment have very, very few T1 items at the moment. It's very much the kind of uh, dark uh, and uh, rich colours which are in the stores right now. So it's a great way to pick, pick, uh, pick up things uh, that, that you just can't find anywhere else. And and the, the, the reason that we love it is that we get to recycle things, that we're not buying stuff in the stores. And that's one of the things that the uh, ladies that I meet with, they say... You know, now when, when they're at the stores, they say, no, I'm going to a clothes swap and and they've, they've stopped buying so much. So, so it's, it's good for everybody. Uh, and what happens is with our clothes swaps is at the end of the evening, anything that people don't take home with them, uh, we bag it all up and we take it to uh, the charity shop. So, you know, nothing goes to waste and everybody benefits. You know, if we're not using it, it goes to somebody who's really in need. And in fact, one of the ladies last night, I'll just put my cards down. Uh, one of the ladies last night, um, Lisa from uh, South Africa, she volunteers at a day shelter um, here in Copenhagen. And uh, she took quite a few of the items that were left over for the shelter. They're having a Christmas party soon and we had things like, uh, there were candles, serviettes, um, small pieces of jewellery that they'll be able to uh, wrap up and, and give us Christmas gifts. So everybody benefits. Anyway, let's, uh, oh, and I tell you what, at the end of the video, I'll put a few pictures on. I, I didn't kind of film at the party last night. It was Vibika's house, you know Vibika's house. Um, but I'll give you a few, I, you know, give you an idea of what it looks like when we hold the clothes up party. And I'll also put some photos on at the end of the food. The food is always fabulous. Last night we had some really good salads um, and somebody had made uh, uh, mince pies, you know, Christmas mince pies. And there was pavlova and there was Rocky Road and I had made the Swedish fishwives uh, cake. Uh, I've, I've done a, view, a YouTube video on that. So anyway, let, let's dive in and I'll show you what I got. And I was really good cause, because I shopped according to my... Um, type one colors and um, my style of thing. And here's, oh, and here's one other thing that wasn't actually part of the swap, but one of the ladies, um, Margaret, who's American, we, we also in our ladies group, we have a kind of buy and sell thing. And her kids were selling toys. And I got this for 25 Danish crowns, which is about, say, two pounds in British money. Uh, about three American dollars and uh, this is what we're going to be playing on Christmas Day because I love jigsaw puzzles and look at that, uh, a good old-fashioned one with a uh, hand from the oldies. So, a great night. Anyway, uh, onwards and upwards and let's start off. Uh, and, and also I've heard a lot of you saying, oh, you know, people don't want to do clothes swaps because... They're not going to find anything because there are different shapes and sizes. Well, you know, if you have an attitude like that, you're not going to find anything. But, the, you know, we had accessories, we had um, nail varnish, uh, we had a whole load of hats, uh, scarves, gloves, handbags, uh, a television, 
Uh, what else was there? I'll put the photos on at the end. Uh, coats. Uh, the, so the, the thing is, you don't think about the size of these, these things. You've just got to go along and try. But here was one of the non-clothes items. Some Christmas tea. Uh, the Anne-Marie, uh, who's British, um, she, she bought it and hadn't really liked it. But I will be drinking this down at the sea with Vidrick and Helena after our skin dips. And okay, first item out of the bag, I'll just take them one by one, is... Let's see, is a blue, it's navy, it's not black, because <laughs> the ladies kept on saying to me, Diane, here's something that's not black, because I was thinking, no black, I just want navy blue. Um, a skirt, which actually I had taken before for my daughter, taken it back to the clothes swap, and I thought, oh, actually, I would be able to wear this, and it's really, it's, um, now, I don't know if you're, uh, a, um, a clothes uh, snob and really go up into labels. Acne Studios um, is a Swedish brand, very high end. Uh, but you know, I never, I get most of my things from clothes swaps. But it's a, a nice A line skirt in dark navy and it's got little uh, gold zips. And the best part, the pockets. We always love pockets in our skirts and dresses. Are you like that? I always say, oh, I love this dress and it's got pockets. So. An A-line skirt, which is great, good for cycling in. You know, everything has to be practical for me. I'm on my bike, so uh, and also um, pencil skirts. They don't suit me because I've got quite big hips. I've got a small waist but big hips, uh, and they're not practical because you can't get your leg over the bike. Right now, a nice uh, stripy jumper. I really like my stripes, and this is from. Uh, Land's End, so it's probably from one of the American ladies. It's probably belonged to Margaret. This one. A nice stripy jumper and then I have a stripy more stripes there were no polka dots really last night but uh, I found this nice stripy blouse which is rather swish with a wee bow at the front you know like my little bows there we are you can see that one nice t1 colors uh, and that's from Dunn's which I think is you know the Irish um, store in Dublin is that right Dunn's so that probably belonged to Irish Maria Hello Irish Maria, she, she couldn't um, stay for the party because I think one of her kids was ill, so. Um, and then this uh, crispy white top, um, this is Swedish Lindex, and I, I know where this one came from because Vibika found this in when we were over in Sweden at the charity shop, remember the place where you could fill a bag for like 50 Swedish krona? And this was one of the things that she took and then said, um, and uh, actually I'm back into wearing white again now. I had got a bit of white um, in the summer, you know, when I went full into T1 and I'm more into winter white, but now I'm kind of back into white again. So that's going to be great. And it's my size. Okay, here's a fun one. Now, it's just for fun, okay? Uh, this was one of the ladies, it was her daughter's Halloween costume. <laughs> pink ladies, you know, from uh, Greece. And I thought, I'm going to hold, nobody else wanted it. And I thought, I am definitely going to hold on to that because I'm going to be a pink lady probably next time uh, we have uh, some kind of dress up, you know, probably in February at Carnival. So that, that was one for the, uh, that'll be going to the dressing up box. I'm not going to be wearing it on a day-to-day -day basis. <gasps> now, this one is fabulous. I was really lucky to find a couple of really good evening uh, wear things, you know, occasion wear things last night. Now, this is a beautiful, and I hope you can see it because the light is not great in here. Uh, it's um, kind of midnight blue, silky top, and it's got really fabulous, it, it's sleeveless, but it's got those kind of uh, very flowing um, sleeve lines. And this had belonged to Sue, uh, my friend Sue, you know, the one who's a swimming teacher and who was out with last week. Uh, and she she knew that I would love this, so she brought this back. Uh, she had taken it last time and said, oh, Diane, this is for you. So I'm really looking forward to wearing that with some navy um, trousers uh, for going out at Christmas with, you know, just a big, nice, chunky necklace. And another one for all the Christmas parties. And, and okay, I'm, I'm just going to, I know I kind of jumped from there to there, but I just want to say today... I'm wearing, if you saw me on Instagram posting last night, this is a sparkly gold jumper that Vibica got at a clothes swap party last year. Now, I wasn't into gold last year. I was still into silver. I'm back into gold, and she gave me this uh, the day before yesterday because she'd been, uh, you know, decluttering stuff for the clothes swap party last night and said, did I want it? I was like, yes, a gold jumper. I've been looking for a gold jumper. 
So gold jumper, the earrings that I'm wearing today came from one of Vipika's neighbours who had put things in for a clothes swap party. The jeans that I'm wearing today are these fabulous ones. Uh, I think these are the ones from Marks and Spencer's that Victoria, um, Vicky, she, she wasn't there last night, but she had put these into clothes swap a couple of times ago and these are my favourite jeans. Uh, and the uh, denim shirt that I'm wearing today is one of my old ones that I bleached to make it a bit brighter because it's too kind of dark and dull. So anyway, last night, Susanna, who is uh, Danish, uh, and Susanna used to do, you know, Colour Me Beautiful back in the day and she was fascinated at hearing about dressing your truth at the last party uh, that we were at together. And she has invested in, you know, the, the cards. I'll put them down there. Yeah. So last night she turned up and said, oh, Diane, I've got some things for you. I know they're the type T1 colours and uh, she's a type 4, but I've been buying quite a few T1 things. And one of the things that she had was another, look at this, another gold jumper. And this one is really kind of right in your face, sparkly uh, Christmas party one. So I'm really looking forward to wearing that too. So now I've got two gold jumpers. Ooh, go me. And what did it cost me? Absolutely, absolutely nothing. And plus, it was really fun last night. You know, there were, uh, there were about 18 of us, 18 ladies. Uh, and some of them had to leave early um, but when we sat down I'll, I'll put pictures when we sat down to have um, food we were sitting like 14 of us around the table and it was really nice to say oh you know I could see that somebody else was already wearing um, an old leather jacket of mine somebody else had uh, the black um, suede boots that you saw me um, decluttering in another video, the coats that I decluttered the other day. It was just so nice that other people said, oh, wow, and they were going to wear them and, you know, I love them just as much as I love getting the, uh, the stuff last night. So anyway, almost down at the bottom. Uh, oh, and this one was also from Susanna, a really good, uh, t look at that, T1 colour. Uh, and it's from, for anybody who's interested in labels, uh, Massimo Dutti who is, um, I think it's like a, a more upmarket type of Zara, not sure. But anyway, I'm really, I won't be wearing that one right now. That's going to go in my um, summer, in my summer collection. And just while we're on the subject of that, this one here, now this is what I wore to the clothes swap party last night. I wore a top that I could easily kind of pull off and put on again because we try on everything while we're there. That's why, you don't look at the size of the clothes, just try them on. Uh, you never know whether it's going to fit or not. And I wore this one, uh, which was a clothes swap party item that Vibiga had taken once. I found it was too bright for her and gave it to me and I wore it with my um, pink necklace. So there we go. I'm just uh, airing this one because I hardly had it on last night. I was kind of taking it off and putting it on again. Right, we're almost at the bottom. Uh, a really nice summer scarf in lovely... Um, Lovely fresh colour, so that would be great when I'm biking down in the morning for my swim. And then, oh, this old favourite. Now, I've brought this one home before. Do you remember this top? And it's a really stunning top. <laughs> and it's been at the clothes swap party I don't know how many times. And I took it, didn't wear it, took it back. And then I think it was Victoria, um, English Victoria. She took it and now she's moving houses and brought it back and nobody else was going to take it and I thought you know what I'm going to give it another chance because I've got different hair from the last time and I've got different colours in my wardrobe uh, so let's see if I can make it work this time and I, and I called this my kind of uh, Star Trek top because I would feel like uh, Uhura you know in this top so I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing if I can get this worn <laughs> there's one there's a reason that it keeps on coming back to the clothes swap it, it's not destined for the charity shop just yet okay and the last couple of items are something a bit different for me I actually took some sports items sportswear now this is a really beautiful color it was actually the color I was attracted to not the fact that it's sportswear uh, and I believe this belonged to is it Margaret? Yeah, probably American Margaret. Um, a lot of the ladies who were there last night, they swim and they do triathlons. And so there's a lot of sportswear, not something I normally look at. Uh, but this is a really nice um, hoodie. And I'll probably wear it for 
in the morning around the house when I get up because uh, we've got a big old house you know three floors and it, it can be pretty cold so that's good uh, because I haven't bought I haven't intentionally bought sportswear in T1 colours I'm just replacing as we go and this is a terrific one plus this one here which is really nice I'm not sure if this belonged to her as well it's uh, also got a little hood on it and uh, it's also like a little running top and <clears throat> I was thinking last night because we are now really into winter weather here we're not officially into winter until the 1st of December but uh, these these long days are, are really uh, tough for me I've said that before that kind of lack of daylight it's um, dark here in the afternoon now we have sun sunset like at quarter to three at uh, quarter to four in the afternoon and it's only gets bright in the morning a quarter past eight so we have really short uh, days long evenings and I really need to up my game with the exercise you know what I swim you know I'm down on my bike in the morning with Vibica and uh, Helena or sometimes in the afternoon and we get um, we have our skinny dip in the sea and we've got our bike ride and, and I'm out riding my bike but I really need to get back to running I haven't run for a long time uh, and when I say running I'm not running like the girls uh, who were there last night you know triathlons and all that what I, I normally do is um, especially in the winter just before I make dinner um, I get into my running gear and I run just around the block and, and you may say well what what use is running around the block well if I run around the block it takes me anywhere between 10 and 15 minutes and it just gives me it's actually really cozy to run around the block here because people have started putting on their Christmas lights and you know everybody's going home and it's just really nice outside and it gives me some fresh air, it gets me out, even if it's pitch, pitch black outside, and it's better for me getting outside for 10 or 15 minutes, having a quick run around the block, than sitting, you know, with my iPad or with the telephone. So, and, and as I've said before, it doesn't have to be perfect with your exercise, just it all adds up. So that's what I'm going to be doing today, spurred on by some new uh, Exercise clothes, the, I need to wear more than this because it's too cold for that outside. And I, I normally wear two pairs of socks when it gets really cold uh, and my, my gloves but uh, and my wee uh, earmuffs as well. So anyway, I'm going to stop here because I've been chatting for far too long but we had such a fabulous time last night. Uh, and that's what we said with the ladies. It's, it, it's always such a, a good evening that we have. We never know what we're going to come home with. It's always something that we didn't expect. And it's just, we're, we're all getting better and better at, you know, decluttering, at not bringing stuff home with us that we're not going to use. And what we aren't using it, we're giving it to somebody else that can. So please, please, especially this time of year, have a route around and see. And are there any items, especially things like, um, you know, coats, gloves, scarves, perhaps that you can give them to a local shelter. Uh, and they're also very, very grateful for any kind of donations of things like a shampoo that you know you bought and you didn't like, uh, hand creams, you know they they will they have nothing, so they they were they are grateful for anything. So anyway, uh, at the end of this video, I'll put on uh, some of the pictures of the uh, from Vivica's house of the food and the drink, and um, I better get running. Boom boom. Okay, Diane in Denmark saying live long and prosper. May the Danish decluttering hygge be with you and recycling, and uh, see you very soon. Bye for now.